Hello, Damien from Cloud Technology Experts. In this video, I'd like to show you how to create Kubernetes secrets. Secrets are quite similar to config maps, but in my previous video, I already showed you how to create config maps. So in this video, I want to show you how to create secrets. Before we start, what are secrets? Secrets are a way to pass variables to applications containing sensitive data. Data such as your password, your SSS keys, your tokens, or even your certificates can be passed as variables called secrets. While secrets contain sensitive data, config maps contain non-sensitive data. But the process of creating and managing config maps and secrets are pretty much the same. In fact, if you follow through my previous tutorial on config maps, this one on secret should be quite straightforward. So I already have a blog developed for Kubernetes secrets, which you can have access to it at any point. For this tutorial, I want to divide it into two major sections. Section 1 is to walk you, the, walk you through the process of creating secrets, and Section 2 is to help you see how you can reference your secrets inside your manifest specifications. So let's get started. Creating Kubernetes Secrets As you can see here, on the blog, there are three ways you can create Kubernetes Secrets from the CLI and you can also create them from the manifest file. To create from the CLI, you just have to use the command kubectl create secret. kubectl create secret. Then you can put a type of generic or you can put TLS or you can put Docker registry. And I'll show you what that means. kubectl create secret. You see you have Docker registry as an option, you have generic, and you have TLS. But here we're going to use generic. So here is the name for the secret. And then we are passing two variables. One is called Bob as a username. And we're passing the password as this. So this secret contains two data. For this tutorial, I would like to use a secret created from the CLI. Reason being, in the previous tutorial of config maps, I used config maps created from the manifest file. Again, like I said, the process are pretty much the same for config maps and for secrets. If you know how to do for one, you should be able to do the other because they are quite similar. So let us create a secret from the CLI. I'm just going to copy this command and paste it here. And I want to change the secret name to hide secrets. Okay. So if we do kubectl, kubectl get secrets, we will see hide secrets here. So when we run the command kubectl get secrets, it's showing us that hide secrets has got two data. This is simply from this command that we run. One is from the username and the other one is from the password as you can see here. This is from the username and this is from the password. That is why it says it has two data. Okay. So that is one way you can create your secrets from the CLI. And that is the one we're going to use for this uh, tutorial. There are different other ways you can do. For example, you can make sure that you put the details inside the file and then you can reference the file as we've seen here. If when you do this method, make sure that this is the variable you want to pass. For example, you can call this file any name, but because we're passing the username variable, it makes sense to name the file to be the same as the variable you're passing. So exactly for the password, that is why we call it password. So there's a third method where you can even create your SSS key pairs and then reference the private and the public key, as you can see here. 
So if you don't want to create secrets from the CLI, you can still create your manifest files and use that to create your secrets. But again, we're not using that method in this tutorial. But if you want to use that, the steps are all here for you. They're all documented here for you. Okay. So that's step one. We created your, our secrets. Let's see how we can reference those variables. There are two ways you can reference the variables. You can use the env command here and then reference the variables one by one. So now, for example, we want to reference RDS username and we're getting the secret from this file, hide secrets, and we're passing the username variable. So here, when we reference RDS username, you, it, um, we get we access the value for username, which in this case is Bob. Here's an example here of a file where we create a pod, and then we are referencing the secret here. Actually, starting from here. So let me show you an example of how to create a secret. I already have a deployment file. Uh, created so let me show you how we can create a pod uh, referencing the secret that we just created so the file is case here called deploy secrets so this is the typical deployment file that we have all the sessions remain the same you have the API version you have the kind which is a deployment then you have a name called deploy secret we have three replicas. Then you come down to the section for containers. Then we give the container secret container and we're using the image of Redis. Then if you come down to the session, this is where we're referencing those secrets. We are referencing two secret variables here. One is called a Redis username and the other one is called a Redis password. Okay, now we're getting those information from high secrets, which we just created. We're getting that from high secrets and the variables or the keys are going to be username and password so when we substitute this information we'll basically pass username called bob and password as we specified earlier so let's quickly create this file kubectl create minus f um, deploy right it said this is deployed so let's do kubectl get uh, deploy two uh, so we have three available so if we do kubectl get pod we have all of them are running so let's try to access the variables that we just created to do that let's use this example here kubectl exec kubectl exec and we're going to grab the file one of the pod can be anyone here okay let's grab username okay so it said the username here pass is bob so let's also grab for the password They also said that the password is that. All right, so now we have been able to access our secrets in the variables defined. Let me show you the second method of assessing your variables. Here, we're going to mount them as volumes, and we have all it documented here for you. So here we're going to use volume mount to mount the variables, okay? All the details are here. Basically, we have um, the name that we're giving it. Uh, usually, this name has to be the same as this one here. Okay. Uh, this session volume mounts has a corresponding volumes. We're mounting whatever we define here, right? So we're mounting a volume called secret vol. We're mounting it here, and the part we're mounting it is Etsy volume. Okay, and we're getting those information from hide secrets. Okay, hide secrets secret. Okay, so now let's show you how to do that from uh, a deployment file. In this deployment file, 
again everything remains the same when you come down to the container section here yeah you see the section for volume mounts which is the same as what i just showed you so let me show you how to do that from the cli again i have the file created so i do that is the file so let's create it group ctl create minus f and the file is deploy vol again it's created we do scoop ctl get deploy they are not yet available all of them are available so if we do group ctl get part you have all of them are running again let's try to see those variables let's just copy that come here uh, we need to change the name for the pod which can be any of the pods that we have here running deploy sec vol command c command v so you have the the two variables password and username now let's get the actual values for those you just need to add password and in this case let's cut it so you have the password here and we can also do for the username and we have the username here as Bob as Bob you also notice that if you try to access these variables it's going to tell you everything is encoded as you will expect it to be all right so i've taken you through the steps of how to create your secrets in kubernetes we started by explaining what secrets are used for then i showed you how to create them from the cli and i referenced them using two methods of environmental variables and also mounting them as volumes. If you follow these examples, you should be able to create secrets in your Kubernetes deployment. Remember though, before you reference your secrets, you have to have them defined. Also remember to make sure that you reference the right variables, otherwise you're gonna have some errors. So I hope you find this video useful on how to create Kubernetes secrets. If you do, please remember to like the video below. Also, remember to come back to more technical Kubernetes videos like this one. Again, it's Damien from Cloud Technology Experts, and I thank you for watching.